Hey yo, hi I'm 1MC, known as TJ to my loved ones, and right now you are listening to One More Christian Podcast. Here I am building a platform for the Holy Spirit to minister to myself and others through scripture, prayer, music, and fellowship. How can I pray for you today? On this show, I will be praying, reading, talking, and maybe even commenting on Christian literature and ministry. Please feel free to comment and uh, give me some suggestions. But right now, grab yourself a relaxing drink, a snack, and a Bible as you listen to One More Good day more Christian and shalom. Podcast. Peace to you. I am One More Christian, and I am here with you for some more scripture reading. Uh... A ways back, I decided this would not be a daily scripture reading. So I'm doing it about once a week. But I'm here. Uh, today I've chosen Psalm 27. Uh, the truth is, I haven't been well lately. Mentally or emotionally. But uh, God is carrying me. And so today, I'm, I've chosen this out of, I got myself a new Bible. I know I have many of them, but I wanted this one. I, I, I had one that was given to me by Pastor Johnny Walker, but I gave it to somebody who needed it, so I got myself a new one. It is the Celebrate Recovery New International Version Study Bible. Uh, and I really enjoy this Bible. In fact, I think it's probably one of my favorites. Um, I love everything about it. It's filled with devotionals, testimonials, uh, and lots of information uh, regarding how you can deal with your hurts, habits, and hang-ups with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today I'm going to read out of this one, Psalm 27. I chose this one because I have been praying and waiting on the Lord to redeem me, to deliver me, to comfort me. Uh, to protect me and my family. And so, so first I'm going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. I thank you for everything I have. I pray for your Holy Spirit to help us and give us wisdom and understanding as we read your word. I pray for those hearing your word that you would give them wisdom and understanding, comfort, peace, safety, in Jesus' name. Amen. So here we go. Psalm 27 of David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To gaze on the beauty of the Lord, and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent, and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above my enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. 
I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. This one comforts me. Although it seems to be bittersweet. Because David is being pursued by his enemies. And he insists that he is confident in the Lord's salvation. But I know that his heart is troubled. That he wonders when the Lord will come. And I feel that same way. I know the Lord is here and he's working. But I, my heart is troubled. And I guess we just have to be aware of his presence because he's working and he is answering prayers. He is working for us, with us, not against us. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To gaze on the beauty of the Lord and seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted. At his sacred tent I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. This reminds me of why we go to a church building. To worship God. To give him a sacrifice of a broken and contrite heart. <sighs> to cast our cares upon him. And to tell him, yes, Lord, I know that you are with me and for me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. This sounds like Sunday morning worship. I will sing and make music to the Lord. My heart says, seek his face. And I do seek his face. And it doesn't always feel like I've seen it or found him. But I know that he never leaves me. However, I pray the same thing that David prayed. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. Because, well, David had, <laughs> David made many mistakes. He did things that were not righteous, not just. But he also says, you have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God, my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Both of my parents passed away. They didn't necessarily forsake me, but they did leave. Substance abuse. I mean, I guess they were taken victims of something that I understand well and how easily it can crush you and enfold you and take you deceive you whisper to you that those things will whisper to you to come closer to put your confidence in them and it's tempting when God doesn't give us the comfort that we seek, where, <laughs> where do we look? Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path 
because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes. I pray God protects me for his glory. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. I'm trying. And I'm waiting. What does it mean to wait for the Lord? I've asked this question so many times. Even though I think I know the answer. It is written, do not sin in your anger. I haven't always accomplished that. I think my anger, irritability, my impatience, my fear, all of it has caused me to stumble on the path. But I eagerly seek the Lord's face because I, I need him and I want him. I want to be comforted, but I know that that's not always God's answer. I mean, a father teaching his child will not always offer the easiest path. Hardship can be a better teacher than comfort, a hard road can teach you more than an easy road. So I'm trying my best to just wait for the Lord to comfort me, to save me, to answer me, to secure me. that I might represent him in a way deserving of his glory or at least not not shame him I, I want to walk with God that's what I want I know the most important ministry that I can do is right here at home with my family and I'm trying to be that to be a father and a husband to minister to them uh, with my actions because love is an action we can express it with words but love is an action Jesus shows that So how do I act in love when I'm impatient and angry and bitter and frustrated, consumed by daily life, worldly problems? But the scriptures say, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. So that's what I'll do. Father, I thank you this day for your word, for your comfort and your guidance, for your faithfulness. I pray those hearing your word today that they would receive it with fertile hearts, ready and willing to accept you and your teaching and your guidance, your direction to walk your path in Jesus name praise be to the one true God praise be to the one true God who is good I thank you and you'll hear from me soon